the Q43 or Carabina 43 is a 7.92A, 57mm Morsa calibre semi-automatic rifle developed by Nazi Germany during World War II. It was a modification of the earlier G41, W, using an improved gas system similar to that of the Soviet Tokarev SVT-40. History Germany's quest for a semi-automatic infantry rifle resulted in two designs, the G41, M, and G41, W, from Morsa and Wolfer arms respectively. The Morsa design was introduced in 1941 and at least 12,755 were made, but it proved unreliable in combat. The Wolfer design fared better in combat but still suffered from reliability problems. In 1943, Wolfer combined a new modified gas system with aspects of the G41, W, providing greatly improved performance. It was accepted and entered into service as the Q43, renamed Carabiner 43 in 1944, with production amounting to just over 400,000 between 1943 to 1945. Q41, M, and G41, W. By 1940, it became apparent that some form of a semi-automatic rifle, with a higher rate of fire than existing bolt-action rifle models, was necessary to improve the infantry's combat efficiency. The Army issued a specification to various manufacturers, and both Morsa and Wolfer submitted prototypes that were very similar. However, some restrictions were placed upon the design, no holes for tapping gas for the loading mechanism were to be bored into the barrel. The rifles were not to have any moving parts on the surface. And in case the autoloading mechanism failed, a bolt action was to be included. Both models therefore used a mechanism known as the bang system. In this system, gases from the bullet were trapped near the muzzle in a ring-shaped cone, which in turn pulled on a long piston that opened the breech and reloaded the gun. This system is in contrast to the more common type of gas-operated system, in which gases are tapped off from the barrel and push back on a piston to open the breech to the rear. Both also included 10-round fixed magazines that were loaded using two 5-round stripper clips, utilizing the same German standard 7.92A, 57mm Morsa rounds. The Morsa design, the G41, M, failed. Only 6,673 were produced before production was temporarily halted, and of these, 1,673 were returned as unusable. The Wolfer design, the G41, W, is in outward appearance not unlike the G43. Most metal parts on this rifle were machined steel, and some rifles, especially later examples utilized the Bakelite type plastic handguards. The Wolfer design was more successful because the designers had simply neglected the last two restrictions listed above. These rifles, along with their G41M counterparts, suffered from gas system fouling problems. These problems seemed to stem from the overly complex muzzle trap system becoming excessively corroded from the use of corrosive salts in the ammunition primers, and carbon fouling. The muzzle assembly consisted of many fine parts and was difficult to keep clean, disassemble, and maintain in field conditions. The rifle was redesigned in 1943 into the Q43 utilizing a gas system somewhat similar to that on the Tokarev series of rifles, and a detachable magazine for easier cleaning. Coincidentally, the M1 rifle followed a similar course being first designed with a gas trap mechanism which was quickly discarded in production. G41, W, rifles were produced at two factories, Waffenfabrik Wolfer at Zellermahlis and Berliner Lübecker Maschinen Fabrik. Wolfer guns bear the AC code, and YA359 inspection proofs, while BLM guns bear the DUV code with YA214 inspection proofs. These rifles are also relatively scarce, and quite valuable in collector's grade. Varying sources put production figures between 40,000 and 145,000 units. Again, these rifles saw a high attrition rate on the Eastern Front. Q43 slash Karabina 43, in 1941, Nazi Germany invaded the Soviet Union as part of Operation Barbarossa. Just prior to the opening of hostilities the Soviet Red Army had started rearming its infantry, 
complementing its older bolt-action rifles with the new semi-automatic SVT-38s and SVT-40s. This proved to be somewhat of a shock to the Germans, who ramped up their semi-automatic rifle development efforts significantly. The SVT series used a simple gas-operated mechanism, which was soon emulated by Walther and the G41W, producing the Q43. The simpler, sturdier design and mechanism of the G43 made it lighter, easier to produce, more reliable and also much tougher than the Q41. Elite German mountain troops would use them as ladder rungs during climbing. The addition of a 10-round detachable box magazine was an improvement over the fixed box magazine of the G41W. The Q43 was intended, like the G41, to be loaded using five-round stripper clips without removing the magazine. Soldiers armed with the weapon typically carried one standard stripper clip pouch and a Q43 pouch with two spare magazines. The Q43 was put into production in October 1943, and followed in 1944 by the Carabiner 43, which was identical to the G43 in every way except for the letter stamped on the side. The name change from Q to Carabiner was due to the fact the rifle was actually 2 cm longer than the standard Carabiner 98K and therefore the term Q was somewhat unfitting. The Wehrmacht intended to equip each grenadier company in the army with 19 G43s, including 10 with scopes, for issue as the company commander saw fit. This issue was never completely achieved. Total production by the end of the war was 402,713 of both models, including at least 53,435 sniper rifles. These G43 per carat 43s were used as designated marksman sniper weapons, fitted with a Zofanru 43 telescopic sight with 4x magnification. The weapon was originally designed for use with the Schiesbecher rifle grenade launcher and a Schalder currency MPFER suppressor, however these accessories were deemed unsuccessful in tests and were dropped even before the rifle made it to serial production. The rifle also lacked a bayonet mount. The Q43 stayed in service with the Czechoslovak army for several years after the war. Likewise the East German border troops and police Volksbolze or Vopo were issued reworked G43 rifles, which are recognizable by a sunburst proof mark near the serial number and the serial number engraved by Electra pencil on removable components. Other details, there were many small variations introduced on the GK43 throughout its production cycle. The important consideration is that no changes were made to the rifle design specifically to coincide with the nomenclature change from Gu to Carabiner, with the exception of the letter stamped on the side. Careful study of actual pieces will show that many G Mart rifles had features found on K Mart rifles and vice versa. There is therefore no difference in weight or length between the G43 and the K43. Variations in barrel length did exist. But those were the product of machining tolerances, differences between factories, and or experimental long-barreled rifles. An unknown number of late war K-43 rifles were chambered for the 7.92A, 33mm Kurtz cartridge and modified to accept STG-44 magazines. Though most GK-43s are equipped with a telescopic sight mounting rail, the vast majority of the rifles were issued in their standard infantry form without a scope. When equipped with a scope, it was exclusively the ZF-44 power telescopic sight. No other known scope mount combinations were installed by the German military on GK-43s during World War II. Many strange variations have shown up after the war, but all have been proven to be the work of amateur gunsmiths. Rifles with a broken off but are common, as German soldiers were instructed to render semi-automatic rifles useless when in danger of capture. See also, List of World War II Firearms of Germany, Ita Juba Model 954 Mosquite, Brazilian derivative chambered in .30-06. References External links, Modern Firearms, Q43 slash Go 43 slash Car 43 Semi-Automatic Rifle G43 per carat 43 collector's homepage, Axis Ordnance Report, U.S. Intelligence Report on the CAR 43 written in 1945.